like I'm literally just in my kitchen and I really want to know how people manage to just stay strong every day for their kids like I am struggling I am mentally struggling just being a single mom and having to do everything on my own like it's draining it's so emotionally draining and I try to find the strength every day but the fact that she's sitting there crying in front of her daughter and her daughter is crawling all over her means that she's in extreme distress. Like I just cannot handle it anymore. And this honestly and unfortunately for a lot of single modern women is not uncommon because this for some of them, not saying specifically her, but for some of them out there, they put themselves in these types of positions not wanting a man, not needing a man, because they're going to rely on their support system. I just don't have it anymore in me, so... Yeah, let me know how you guys manage to keep it together every day. Because I have no support. No support. Everybody that told me, oh, they're going to be there for me and my kid, this and that. When is the time for y'all to show up? Y'all leave. And that's what got me up because why? Like, I'm genuinely not that type of person to people, but I just can never catch a break and I'm over it. Mommy doesn't have any money for coffee. Yes, yes, yes. I don't. So, you know what we're going to do? <laughs> yeah we need to flirt with this we need to flirt with her really really hard you have to be extra super super cute Excuse like blow me? her a kiss say hi like be really 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 cute and then uh, oh my gosh i must have left my car at home after you made this drink already game plan let's go baby let's go get some coffee a day in the life of a sad single mom i wake up in the morning and go to my closet i miss getting ready in the dark trying to be considerate of my husband even though he sounds like an earthquake getting ready in the morning I go to the fridge and open up a container. But where's that useless little metal flap on the top? Maybe it's in the garbage. But when I got to the garbage, I noticed it wasn't overflowing. After I made some lunch, I decided to put it away in Tupperware containers in the fridge. Can you believe I survive without a man sticking the whole pot in the fridge? Because it's too difficult to put it in containers? Then I decide to relax for the day in my sweatpants. Wishing a man would tell me I look so much better in jeans. And I really should wear them more often, since there's so much extra space in my house. I have room for all these different scented candles. It's all fun and games until you get tired of the single life and you actually want somebody. Maybe you take time for yourself to heal and do whatever you want. Enjoy your single life. Enjoy your single era, the single moment in time. But make no mistake about it. It usually comes around that these types of women want a man inevitably. And I hope and, 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 and I pray that I'm not the one that comes across a video that she has talking about, I want a man again. I can't find one, it's hard out here. So I guess they'll keep me company. Send your thoughts in person. You hit 30, mm -hmm. no offense. No, no, why would, why no, would a man no, 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 go no, no, no. for a 30 year old right. when he can have a fresh 21 year old that <laughs> a men look at it as, oh, she's 30, which means fresh. she's older. Mm -hmm. She's been ran through. Fresh is crazy. Ran through is crazy. She's tarnished. Um, she's hardened tarnished. by all the relationships. So she's lost her femininity oh, because she's masculine. That's what I want to ask. Wow. You know, she's men really think about these type of things. Mm -hmm. And it's very unfortunate that women don't realize that until they hit 30. They want to be in their 20s and be like, oh, yeah, I can sky fuck guy. But they don't ru realize you're ruining yourself. You're ruining and then you're trying to find yourself. And by the time you're 30, you're like, where have all the good men gone? Not oh, to you because oh. you ran through. Yo. Dang. Damn. How old are you? If you ever want to know why dark romance book talk is full of women in their 30s, it's because when we graduated high school, we were watching really cute romantic shows like Sons of Anarchy and True Blood while listening to love songs like Lips of an Angel and Crazy and simultaneously dealing with daddy issues and mommy issues. And it's funny how these same women, these same modern women, will shame men for continuing to play games, 2K that sort of thing, and then be reading these types of books, fantasizing all day long about their Prince Charming or whoever he is that she actually wants, and then have the nerve to call a man childish when you still have boy childhood, I should say, girlish crushes on people that, quite frankly, don't even exist other than in your mind. Any questions? I 
Are uh, you yeah, I... Okay. So, how long have you been single? Three years. And you're over 30? Next question. <laughs> okay. Well, behind this door, we have the man of your dreams. All you have to do is spin the wheel and land on red. Okay. Got a pretty good chance at it. I legit Tricky just had the worst alone. date of my life. Oh boy. Why? This guy takes me to Kaba. It, it's a chain restaurant oh, okay. that sells bowls. He doesn't even pay for my bowl. I have to pay for my own bowl. And then I, I, I leave. I think Kava is pretty expensive. Well, not super expensive, but for a lunch option, it's not all that cheap. I mean, just bear with me here. It's rated at, at 3.9, so it can't be that great. Uh, I think we used to have Zoe's down here. I thought that was pretty good. Zoe's Kitchen. But they were done. Okay. So I'm going to say for my location, right, I want to order here. Oof. Yeah, okay. So they got a steak bowl for 14 bucks. So that it's it's not like a dinner, but it is a pretty good lunch to be honest with you. But she's complaining about that. But, but let, let's see why. He, he doesn't pay for her bowl, which is going to be $30, by the way. Immediately leave, and I sit alone in a park. Yeah, he dodged a bullet. So you want a quality and then cry when you get a quality. Y'all are independent boss women until the bill comes. You they're, they're going for lunch, by the way. So by the time he gets a drink, that's going to look like, what, $17? Let's say she gets a bowl for 14 no add-ons, straight up. 14 he gets one for 14 then they get a drink that's probably going to be what two three dollars so that's 14 plus three 34 dollars for lunch off top imagine having to do that two or three more times that week you want all the benefits that come with being treated like a traditional woman without having to act like a traditional woman get two feet in the church be willing to submit to your husband Dang. choose a family over a career and then and only then can you expect the traditional treatment of having your dinners paid for? I would tell you to cry about it, but you already did in the park alone. That's tough. Yeah, no, I don't really do mud. But you're a garden fairy. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Yes, I'm beautiful and gorgeous, but I'm also insane. Mm -hmm. Insane. But don't forget beautiful and gorgeous. And the gag is, these men that disrespect women and talk down on women are always in women business. <laughs> they don't even like women for real. Mm. <laughs> Y'all better wake up. <laughs> I'm single because I choose to be single right now. So, I don't need a man right now. So you saying, oh, you're single because you can't get a man? Yeah, let me ask you a question. You can't retain one? Is there ridiculous? Funny. The reason why you're saying that you don't need a man right now is because of your inability to no. attract and retain a man of value right now. Because if you were attracting no, and retaining I'm any dudes... I'm focusing on my career and bettering myself. So are you celibate? That doesn't okay, matter. Okay, cool. You're not celibate. So that means that you got some random that has no potential That's smashing. You granted him your key, because women hold the key to sex. You granted him the key of sex, right? Okay, cool. He didn't grant you his key of a relationship, but even if he did, you probably wouldn't accept it because you he's a low-tier dude. Yep. That's my point. Because if he was a high-tier dude, you would be the one begging for a relationship. You're Say if I'm an incel, I don't have the ability to have sex. I'm involuntary celibate, right? That means that girls don't want to have sex with me. I want sex mm -hmm. with them. They don't want to have sex with me. And just saying like, oh yeah, well, I'm not having sex because it's by choice. <laughs> no, it isn't by choice. He's it's a cooking. man's natural proclivity to have cooking. sex it's a woman's natural proclivity to want a quality man so what i'm saying is that you're not getting your natural proclivity and you're trying to you're trying to cope with it and say oh yeah i don't want it it's a coping mechanism he's a good man savannah they like that a good man you guys cheat for a thousand dollars yeah maybe yeah a thousand that's a lot of money like thousand dollars is a lot that is a lot of money all right now those are you're talking about cheating for a thousand dollars when you're asking a man to pay that for you 
uh, in a month or so, in about two months. $300 on dinner, if you go out three times within that month, that's $900, you're close. So you're gonna take that money and you're gonna choose that over somebody that's gonna be paying that type of money on a regular basis. These modern women have really, really short-term mindsets. Spend that money. I'd honestly have to go shopping. Yeah, shopping's free for a thousand dollars. A hoe. Would you guys cheat for a hundred dollars? Absolutely not. I probably will. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred bucks. Yeah. Do you know how many hours that is from working? Like I would so do it. Not enough. Someone's calling me on Discord. I don't recognize the username. You mind if I add them to our call real quick? I just want to see what they want. Hmm. And I don't really want to hang up on you. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Ooh, hello. Oh, fuck. It's you again. Didn't I tell you to stop contacting me? I've blocked every single alt account you've made just to message me on. Can you stop now? Oh, you? <laughs> Sweetie, I don't know you anything. You were the one who was like, Oh, look at me. I have all the money. If you want Welkin, tell me. If you want crystals, tell me. I'll get it all for you. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't force you to do any of that. You did that out of your own volition. So no, I don't know you anything. So basically, instead of saying thank you to somebody who just admittedly so simped over you, you're going to trash him and say, I'm not giving you anything. You're not getting any of my time. That was a donation. That's what I'm entitled to. And modern women, exactly like this, expect for a man to take care of them. Expect for a man to protect and provide for them while they don't even say thank you. They don't even show any type of gratitude. Who, in their right mind, would want to provide or even simp for that? I'm playing with my friend. <laughs> boyfriend? You think he could be my boyfriend? He's not my boyfriend. He's my friend. He's not paying me anything. I like playing with him because he actually cares about me. He checks up on me, he makes sure I eat, <laughs> he lets me tank. Well, why are you laughing? <laughs> because you got somebody giving you money that's actually, could you say, providing for you. But the man that you call your boyfriend is trash. Oh, he checks up on me. He, he, he wants to know if I'm going to eat. This and all that other nonsense. He not doing nothing for you. What you just described... A little bit there was a bum. But please, tell me how there are no good men providing for you once again. All right, so you you, you with my wife? That, that's my wife right there. No clothes. All right, that's my wife. No clothes. All right, I don't know what you're digging for, but that's, that's my wife right there. And I want a divorce. Okay? Will you give me a divorce? Will you give me a divorce, please? Please, give me a divorce. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Okay? I'll turn the, I'll turn the camera off. Right? Here's the key. I'm done. Alright? I'm done. I'm done with you. Okay? I love my daughter. That's the only thing that's important to me, okay? I have no beef between me and you anymore. I know you're a good man. It's all good, man. This, this is not going to be seen by anybody except the judge. And all right, so you ain't got to worry about nothing. And us. All right? <laughs> I'm sorry for disturbing you. Have a nice day. I slept with... It was like 10 minutes, right? Can I open... So it has been decided by millions of women that if he cannot get you off... He no longer counts in your body count. It doesn't matter Wait. if it was 10 minutes, like your situation. Oh, it doesn't matter if it was an hour. Yeah. If you don't finish. These women are trifling. These women are trifling. If you, a coping mechanism, any way, any way to disclose bad behavior without being judged, any way to brag to wear their body count as a badge of honor without being judged. Well, it was kind I'm I'm impressed. I am impressed. This this is the first time I'm hearing of this. If he doesn't last in a certain line in a certain time period, then he doesn't count. If he doesn't satisfy you, then he does not count. <laughs> God, I'm I'm amazed. I'm amazed how these modern women can spin things 
in order to lie in the future and say, well, my body count is actually four or my, my body count is actually one. Minus all of those other guys that I actually stepped with, this is the one who actually satisfied me and fulfilled me. Or how many people did you actually, by very literal biological definition of intercourse, how many of those did you actually have intercourse with? About 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it doesn't really count, right? Because I wasn't satisfied. Girl, shut your stupid behind up. He doesn't count. The more I do this divorce documentary, I think that women are evil when it comes to divorce. Oh, are we? I interviewed this guy. Oh my God, it was so sad. He literally showed me texts, like messages, print, because I, I make them bring in the document, because then people will say they're lying or whatever, so I make them bring in the actual like documents. She literally said to her friend, I wish he would hit me, because she was trying to get him to hit her so she could take the kids and like bring that to court wow. even though she, and she, uh, that is and crazy. she admitted to hitting him multiple times and then she didn't let him see the kid for a year and then she went to court and guess who still got primary custody the lady. Did, girl. <laughs> isn't that crazy 36 years old and while i'm getting ready for surgery and everything it dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. Being single and 46 sucks. It just sucks. And I make jokes about buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is, this is my reality. <laughs> I'm 42 and that means half of my life is over. I'm not okay being single. I don't want to be single and I get depressed. As a person who has been single for me personally my whole life. I'm 53. I am, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. I get my feelings hurt. I don't want to be a hookup. Three no. failed relationships since my marriage had ended. Currently I don't date and it's purely for the reason that I am exhausted. I am done oh. with all of these games. I'm done with men. Why is it so hard to find your person? God, am I lonely sometimes. <laughs> I think that most guys I know, most guys I've ever met in my life, would never want to date me. I know that they feel this way. I can just sense it. I think that most guys I know are like, Fiona's cool, would never want to date her. I'm pretty hungover, but I'm going to explain with my one brain cell. Men often have opinions or say things that really don't make a lot of sense about politics, psychology, social culture, feminism. I often find myself disagreeing with men and I simply cannot let them think that they're right. So I want to debate. I want to argue. I want to prove you wrong. I just want to know which man is going to appreciate that. Yeah, I want to come home and I want to be surrounded by a whole bunch of drama. Even if you were right, even if you did have a point, even if they were ignorant, why would you want to be surrounded by that? Number one, number two, why are you hanging around guys if they're always wrong? Are you always right? You, you, you know how stuck up and conceited you sound right now? What are you doing? Where's your brain at? It's evident that you only have one brain cell operating right now because you're just talking stupid, in my opinion. Men are going to see this <laughs> and they'll be like, man, she's she's cute. But I don't know if I want to be around somebody that's going to be arguing, hollering and screaming and doing some silly stuff. Maybe she's not screaming and hollering, but just always has to be contentious about everything, because it's, if it's in your heart, let's say about politics or something like that. And you have to argue about every little thing. It's going to be every little thing. And it's going to be contentious and tension in the household. What man, what person for that matter, except for you and your silly friends that are modern women, going to be want, going to want to be involved in that. And I bring sometimes an aggressiveness to my debate style. No, you know what it is? It's a confidence to my debate style. I know two guys. Anything, anything 
other than to say, I'm a problem. I'm problematic. I'm confrontational. And I should probably stop. I should probably change. Debated with who have beat me. And I've said, you know what? You're right. In my life. And my dad's a lawyer and I beat him every damn time. He calls me up. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm wrong. I don't think a lot of men love this. So I turn off the majority of men with this uh, little spice, but I think I will attract the best 1%. It just hasn't happened yet, but just wait on it. The girl is deluded. I turned 25 this week, and if I'm honest... Can I say something before she says whatever she says? Do you think that King Cobras or venomous snakes attract a lot of attention? No, no, they don't. They attract that attention from afar, but nobody really wants to come close to them because they know that they're going to get bitten. And if they get bitten, then they're probably not going to survive very long. That's what you are. You are a venomous snake spewing poison. Nobody's going to want to be around that. I'm terrified. I'm terrified because I feel like a failure. And I don't know if anyone else watching this understands that feeling, but my life looks nothing like I thought it would at this age. When I was a kid, I always said, by 25, I'll be married or I'll have a kid. I'll have this amazing career. And I've done a lot of cool things, don't get me wrong, but I'm about to be 25. And most nights I go to bed feeling so lonely. And then most days I wake up feeling lost, like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I have this overwhelming thought of, is this it? Is this all there is? When you're 25 years old and you live alone and you have no partner and you have maybe two friends and you've struggled with mental illness your entire life, there's just not much to wake up for, is there? Let me know if you relate because I would love to not feel so alone. Well, it's your own fault. For the man that just stopped me in the rain saying, excuse me, it's raining, I'm on my own, I'm in Hammersmith. Got robbed last week. He said, excuse me, and I went, no. Because I'm worried that someone's going to distract me and someone's going to steal my phone again. Then get onto the platform, and he comes up to me and he goes, could have just said I'm not interested. I've been in a relationship for eight years. I do not know any woman who would feel comfortable in that situation as they're on their own, it's raining, and they're about to enter a tube station. He made me feel like I was an asshole for like putting my boundaries up. The fact that he then came up to me again to like tell me off for breaking his ego makes me more angry. I'm just so fed up of men like that. She is. If you give an ugly man a chance, nine times out of ten, that motherfucker's gonna delude him into thinking that he's better than you. So my friend and I were talking. She knows this girl, gorgeous, bad little boot face, great personality, tremendas tetas, a full. 10. She started dating this creature, to put it nicely. Picture Mr. Clean post a 10-year, very active UFC career. Bald, busted face with no teeth. Looking like a whole ass failed experiment. Ay, Dios, no! Maybe he's rich. This man was old enough to start collecting IRA distributions penalty-free, and he still had not moved out of mommy and daddy's home. AARP eligible motherfucker was still mom clean his street draws. What the fuck is going on? He dragged this girl. She was constantly begging to make some sort of appearance on his social media even though my mans would post up gym pic daily as if anyone wanted to see Caillou steroids edition. Finally keep that in your camera roll. She was constantly begging him to put more effort into the relationship. He made this girl feel like she was not good enough for him. All while looking like the inside of a Taco Bell stall, babe. Nuclear. This is what these guys do. They have girls like this bad little build them up and then he's like, damn, I got score all of these bad. And when these girls are no longer of use to them, they're dropping these Lori Harvey style. Except Lori Harvey is a fucking goddess. That'd be a lesson. If you want to give an ugly man a chance, fine. You remind him daily who the fuck he is if he ever falls out of line. Look at yourself in the mirror. Sit down and respect me. So it's okay when Lori Harvey does it. But if a man were to get out of line and act above his quote unquote pay grade, then it's a problem. You see the double standard and why men don't respect women like this is because all they do is run their mouth and then they say, oh, well, that's my friend. Oh, that's a celebrity. Lori Hartman, she can do that. That's OK. Don't worry about that. 
No. Whether she's a celebrity or he's a celebrity, whoever it is, if it's wrong, it's still wrong. Period. Stay safe out there, friends. You got that right. Men are always doing whack. These are three of the most unattractive things a man can do in my eyes. If you are inconsistent, get the f out of here. An inconsistent man, yuck. If we are talking and you do not contact me on at least one platform a day, you're a loser. If you can go an entire day without thinking of me, that just shows me that you're not afraid to lose me. And that makes you dumb. Imagine having a chance with me and fumbling. Wow. Just play, let me put this in perspective. Imagine being a man and wanting to sleep with a woman and not contacting her. Why would I want to do anything for you? I want to get laid too, but you're making it really hard when you hit me up once a week. Then it just makes me feel like I'm a convenience or you're bored. You don't make me feel safe physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually. Like if I'm sitting at the table wondering if you're gonna pull out your credit card, if I'm wondering if I can say my feelings to you, mm. no. I just wanna feel safe and loved. Is that so much to ask for? Like these things are literally the bare minimum, but that is what it has come to. So I'm not a girl's girl. Um, and I have reasons for that because like, <laughs> they're trifling. Like, I'm sorry, but if you've if you've ever tried to make another female friend nowadays, tell me how that's going for you because I genuinely want to know. Like girls nowadays are not nice and they don't have your back. They're not your friends. But I know not everybody ha felt like feels this way. But I feel like all of my like pretty friends and my friends that are like in relationships they also admit they're not girls' girls, and girls are not your friend. They either see you as competition, or they see what they want, which is usually a boyfriend, and then they try and ruin your relationship. And honestly, I have a story time for y'all. So when I used to go to parties back when I was dating, you know who. Well, the people who follow me know who. But anyways, back when I was dating my ex, um, there was this girl that I made friends with in a Hollywood party. And anywho, I thought she was so cool. Like, I really did. I thought this girl was so cool. Uh, she liked the same things as I did. And I thought she was really sweet. And I was very wrong. I thought that me and this girl were going to be like new friends. Like I really was like, oh my goodness, I have a new friend. She likes the same hobbies as me. And I don't meet very many girls that have the same hobbies as me in LA. And so anyways, I thought I made a new friend. I was also friends with her friend who was like such a sweet girl. And I was really excited because I really struggle making friends. I just like, I don't know. I just don't like hanging out with people. <laughs> and so anyways... Me and this girl are hanging out, whatever, whatever, whatever. We go to parties together. They're really fun, whatever. I was talking to her about, like, some of my relationship stuff, and she would always tell me how, like, me and my boyfriend were so cute. And she's like, oh, my goodness, like, you and him are so cute. Like, you guys, you know, you guys are, like, the it couple. So, anyways, the second that me and my boyfriend decide to break up, guess who goes running to him? Let's take a guess. So my ex-boyfriend, you know, like after we broke up, uh, he went to a party and she was like all up on him and not like all up on him. Like he was feeding into her and da da da. like she was all up on him. And he was like, yeah, you know, cause she was asking about me. She's like, where's Jocelyn? And he was like, oh, we broke up. We're not together anymore. Oh my gosh. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, he was like, we're not together anymore, you know, yada yada. Tell me why the second that he said that, she was like, yeah, her TikToks were really, really cringe. She was so weird. Says you who was liking all of my stuff. Anyways, and she used to comment on my post and be like, you're so cute, like da 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 da. How are you going to lie to me like that? Anyways. And so she was like trying to go to my boyfriend's kickback that I guess he was having. And of course she didn't go because he didn't want her to go. And because, I don't know, he just didn't want her to go.
Yo, okay. And I feel like this isn't even like the only situation I've had. Like I've had so many other situations, but I'm not trying to like expose anyone. Um, but it's just that kind of like I'm over it. I don't want to make friends with girls anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with this whole weird thing that you guys got going on. Um, and I'm just gonna hang out with my friends, and you're on your own. So. I mean, it it really be your own kind, and they be saying that they want to be in the forest with a bear. I don't know with some of these women, with the way they act, they might as they might as well be the quote unquote man in this situation. That woman was waiting. You guys are the it couple, but of course you're in L.A. What else would they be doing but try, besides trying to get over on you? This is how modern women act, really in any city, really in any country. So you have to expect that, to be honest with you. Most of these modern women say they don't want something, and then they turn around, and then they do actually want it. And they'll stop at nothing. They'll criticize every single person just to get what they want. And then, because they're their own, their own main character, they'll just say, you know what? I had to do what I had to do. It's just God wanted it this way. Life wanted it this way. The universe wanted it this way. So unfortunately, you had to learn that the hard way, but get used to it. Wherever you are, when you're around modern women, radical feminists like this, they're going to try to do you dirty. And that's just unfortunate. You keep this up. And in a number of years, you're going to be running back to men. Oh, man, you, you, you're not as bad as they say you are. <laughs> it's not as bad as you say they say you are. <laughs> I guess you're really good because I can't stand those women. I just want to be married. I want to be in my soft girl life. Just want a man to take care of me because these women are, are too much. But by that time, it might be too late. So decide what you actually want to do, where you want to go with your life, and be safe out there. Anyway. That's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out.